Don't let Alan drive because there, there's something wrong with him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zay, do you want to uh, come hang over at my place? <sighs> Sorry, man, I would, but I, I just have a massive hangover, man. Hey, don't hang that over me. Well, listen, I'm going bungee jumping later, so I mean, I'll be hanging over a cliff. Okay, these puns need to be hang over now. The hang didn't serve a purpose. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay, if you're new here. Uh, and today, we are getting into the movie The Hangover. I'm super excited about this. Uh, this will be our reaction to it. This is a movie that Zay has never seen before. I have seen this movie. I have seen this movie multiple times. It is my dad's favorite comedy of all time. It's in my top three, at least, of favorite comedies of all time. It's it's so funny to me. Um, it'll be interesting to see how Zay takes it. Uh, yeah, Zay, uh, is there anything you know about this movie before we hop on in? No, I will say this is probably like when I think of Zach Galifianakis, I think of two things. It's The Hangover and Between Two Ferns, <laughs> which okay. I have seen Between Two Ferns, but I like a bunch of those episodes. But um, this is like this is definitely a movie where I've just never sat down and watched it. I believe there's a lot of quotable moments from this movie or there's definitely been quote moments and um, just a very, very uh, popular, popular comedy that again i just haven't seen modern too i think it was like 2009 this one came out was the first one at least, uh i, I want to say i think so and no 2011 i i think it's 2011 um either way and i know there's three of them total well i just found that out so um i'm interested to get into this and uh, i'm always down for a good laugh yeah i've seen all three you guys can let us know if you want us to continue this series with zay because he hasn't seen the other ones as well um i know i think you've seen some of the memes right like um I've seen like I like uh, there's one with like Zach Alpin has to be like totally really like exasperated I think okay that's like the first one that comes to mind but I just don't know if that's maybe from a different movie or if that is from this movie and I don't know what the context is so I've seen some of the memes I'm sure I'll recognize them um, as they come out but I don't know like I don't know like any of the setup for or what the situation is surrounding it okay gotcha and I know that um, in our Big Lebowski review uh, I did mention how. Um, uh, John Goodman's character kind of reminded me of Alan from this movie. There are definitely some differences, mm. um, okay. but so obviously Zay has heard me say that before. Uh, but other than that, um, oh no, it, this one is 2009, not 2011. Okay. Uh, okay. But other than that, um, yeah, super excited. Uh, if you guys like what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full length reaction to this, we'll get movies as well as get three edit movie reactions ahead of YouTube. Check that out. On Patreon, the link for that is in the description. Ugh, sorry, I was busy practicing my wildlife photography skills I learned online through Skillshare. What? What is that? Oh, Skillshare? It's this wonderful online learning community where you can learn from creatives who are skilled in their field. I'm talking about the bird on your chair. What do you mean? Yeah. Skillshare offers a variety of different options, so find what you like. And if you're interested, help support the channel and get 30% off your first year by using our promo code Cam and Zay. Do you have any idea of what the premise of this movie is? Sounds like they had a wild night out if it's about a hangover. Honestly, it's making me think we should have taken part and drank <laughs> and then had a hangover for the reaction. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, that would have been wild. Um... Okay, yeah, all right, well, with that being said, let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into The Hangover. I was wondering what you were going to do. Took me a second to think of something. Still frame that one. Tracy, it's Phil. Phil, where the hell are you guys? Yeah, listen. Uh... <laughs> she said crisscross applesauce on the hood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some... <laughs> we can't find Doug. What are you saying, Phil? We're getting married in five hours. Her and Doug. Who's Doug? Her, her soon-to-be husband, or was <laughs> soon-to-be husband, and their friend. And is gone. Yeah. <laughs> How do you lose a person? Two days early. Whoa, watch it, pervert! 
It's okay, Alan. He's just doing your in scene. It's getting very close to my shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Phil and Stu, they're your buddies, and it's your bachelor party, and... <laughs> it's not like that. I already told you, Alan. Okay, we're just spending the night in Vegas. So Alan is her, his, like, soon-to-be brother-in-law. Okay. Doug, it's just a car. Just make sure when you get there to put some armor all on the tire so the sand doesn't seep in. It's never just a car either. Oh, dude, terrible idea. I would never. Don't let Alan drive because there's something wrong with him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice car. Yeah, I'm driving. Oh, no chance, but don't step. Ugh. Oh, my God. It's a nightmare. People that do that type of shit. Boys and their bachelor parties, it's gross. You're right. It is gross. Uh, come on, man. Yeah. He's getting bold. You know he was probably a fun time, like, back in, like, high school or, like, college, and he's, like, tamed. They are mature, actually. You just have to get to know them better. Paging Dr. F*** it! <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. Mwah! Oh, the cringe is that wild. Means... You can't go to Vegas, but she can fuck a bellhop on a carnival cruise line. Okay, first of all, he Whoa, was a bartender. Was a deep... <laughs> he didn't even come inside her. Can you believe that? <laughs> because she's grossed out by semen. That'll be a 32.50. Yeah, dude, imagine working. You're just like, so <laughs> cash your credit? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. Counting cards is a foolproof system. It's also illegal. <laughs> it's frowned upon, like masturbating on an airplane. Well, he's not wrong about the <laughs> card counting thing. Yeah, but, but he's definitely <laughs> wrong about the airplane. <laughs> we can share beds one night. Oh, if we share beds, I'm buckled with Phil. You good with that? <laughs> <laughs> one bill available and it's 4200 for the night. We'll split it. Are you crazy? No, this is on us. I'd be like, That's shut up, Phil. Thing. He offered to split it. <laughs> yeah, let him split it. Okay, this is pimping. All right. This is Vegas. Oh, my. I mean, if you're going to go for a bachelor party, you got to go all out, right? Like, I just wish you could see this place because you, of all people, would love it. He's lucky it's not a few years in the future. She'd be like, FaceTime me, show me. Be like, <clears throat> <laughs> No signal. Uh, we met the uh, proprietor, Caesar Palace. Yeah, Caesar Palace <laughs> <laughs> instead of Caesar's Palace. <laughs> oh wow! Well, that's what I think it is. I think it's a big fucking mistake. I'm gonna <sighs> propose to Melissa at your wedding. Did you just hear the conversation you just had to have? <laughs> that's my grandmother. She made it all the way through the Holocaust with that thing. It's legit. That's a bad setup. Something bad's gonna happen. That just seems. She oh. beats him. That was twice, and I was out of line. <laughs> you ready to let the dogs out? What? Do what? What? <laughs> who let the dogs out? Who? Who? Who brought this guy along? <laughs> who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Hello, fucking tail. It's got a good soundtrack to it. It does. I was going to say, they're playing some heat. You're not really wearing that, are you? Wearing what? The man purse. <laughs> it's not a man purse. It's called a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, how we doing, buddy? Good. <sighs> what do you got over there, Alan? That's the Eiffel Is Tower. Jägermeister? What does he have in his hand? <laughs> Little Jägermeister. Good idea. Good. Damn, you pinpointed that. I was around people that drank that thing like it was water. <laughs> a bit of a loner. I tend to Aww. think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. An alpha? Aww. I was alone first in the pack, and then Doug joined in later. <laughs> I just added two more guys to my wolf pack. Four of us wolves running around the desert together in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Make a toast. Whoa. What? What do you got Whoa. there? Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Blood Brothers. Don't. 
Damn it. Why did you? Here. Alan, no. no. To the doctor. <laughs> the doctor's like, absolutely not. All right. Do a night the four of us will never forget. Oh, I could never do that. No, it would be so painful. Oh, yeah. To a night the four of them will never forget. Take that and rewind it back. Lil John got the beat. And a night we don't get to watch, clearly. We get to <laughs> <laughs> fast forward into the daytime. I mean, I've woken up to like some wild disarray. Yeah, they uh they had a crazy freaking night. I uh, know that's crazy. Holy I would immediately have to turn around and go number two. I I don't know what I would do. Phil, there is a tiger in the bathroom. What's going on? Everyone be like, what are you talking about? Like, no, there's a tiger. Oh, hey, holy hey. fuck, he's not kidding. There's a tiger in there. Yeah, but then there's that reaction, which is like <laughs> the psychopath is like, oh, yeah. no shit, there's a tiger in there. Am I missing a tooth? I can't. Oh. My lateral incisors, it's gone. Oh, well, don't call it that. Just say your tooth's missing. <laughs> Go wake up, Doug. Let's just get some coffee in us and get the fuck out of the bottom before housekeeping shows. Before housekeeping shows? What are you going to do when they come in? They're going to be like, uh. <laughs> Whose fucking baby is that? Well, now you can't. <laughs> Look, let's go hook up with Doug. We'll deal with the baby later. Phil, you can't just leave the baby. We're not gonna leave a baby in the room. There's a fucking tiger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've seen like a still of this before. Like, okay, gotcha. What's his name? Ben. Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the table, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> He's got issues. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's seen Doug. He's not here. Stu, you gotta calm down. Here, have some juice. <laughs> oh, wasn't expecting that. I didn't remember that. And in public? Mm, that's my worst fear. Doing it at like a table or something. Oh my God. That is my tooth. Why do you have that? Where was that? What else is in your pocket? Ugh. Bill, you were in the hospital last night. I guess so, yeah. You okay? Yeah, Alan, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> is that the mattress from Doug's room? Some asshole threw his bed out the window last night. Some guys just can't handle Vegas. Well, that gets us nowhere. And... <laughs> Who has the strength <laughs> to do that? Where's your car, officers? Oh, uh, God. All right, everybody act cool. Like, don't say a word. It's in the way back. Oh, thank you. So if we spin the block real quick. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Are my glasses okay? <laughs> Check this out. Oh, no. No, Phil, Phil, Phil. You have no idea how panicking I would be at the illegality of everything that is occurring. Like, I'd be like, stolen car, stolen child, impersonating an officer, driving on the sidewalk. Probably while intoxicated still. Yeah. <laughs> they found a large amount of Rufalin in your system. You kept talking about some wedding that you just came from at the uh, Best Little Chapel. I hope this helps, fellas. I really have to leave. But you know, Best Little Chapel, you know where that is? I'd be like, why are you being so impatient with us? We need some help here. Because he has patience. <laughs> Literally, he's like, I have. Mm. Congratulations, dude. You got married. Wait. Wait. Tell me he still has his grandmother's ring. He <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> the Holocaust. No. Nope. Seriously happy. <laughs> oh. Clean, very tight. It's oh, like that. Sorry. But that's because she had a baby. <laughs> that explains the baby. Okay. Well, they got that answer. And she probably knows where Doug is. Awesome. All right. All right. <laughs> I think he's just got the worst mentality. Like, the worst. It's the worst luck. Yeah. 
Like, that's, he's the only one you. really stressing about everything. This is your luck <laughs> in a movie. Yeah. It's, just, it's worse and worse and worse and worse. Where the hell is he? Hey, what the hell, man? What the fuck, dude? Is that a baby? <laughs> a goat. Where is he? <laughs> What the hell is happening to you? Ah, hey! There's a baby on board! Someone just said baby. <laughs> Out of the fucking car! Billy, he's got a gun! No shit, he's got a gun! Uh, I gotta call you back. Bye! Ooh. Ooh. Oh! No, Eddie, no! Oh, gosh. Just GTA in real life now. Yo, just like racking up charges in my head. I'm just like, oh, dude, years on years on years on years. Thank God he's with his father. I was freaking out. I miss you, sweetie. Huh? His what? Not quite. Oh, so you y'all were freaking and geeking last night. That's definitely for sure. You cheated. <laughs> I went to get you guys all coffee and I came back and you were gone. Oh, that was the girl that crept out. Okay. Yeah. Baby's name is Tyler. Yeah. I thought you looked more like a Carlos too, but. No. Oh. <laughs> I think he's really liking that baby. <laughs> oh. 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 That poor baby. Baby. Yeah, he saw the ring. She is wearing my grandmother's ring. What? The ring I'm going to give to Melissa. I didn't know they give out rings at the Holocaust. <laughs> I was... <laughs> oh my shit. <clears throat> I guess it was around one. Busting the puppy out, huh? Yep. Got out. I headed over to the hotel with Tyler. Stop staring, Alan. It's just shut more... that baby up, he yeah. said. <laughs> it's more famous people. Every single time a new scene pops, I'm like, oh, I know you. I'm like, oh my god. It's a crazy cast. Do it. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> the good news is we found your Mercedes. <laughs> That's great news. It says, uh, couldn't find a meter, but here's four bucks. <laughs> we need to be in LA tomorrow for a wedding. You stole a police car. I think you gonna get away with it? Not up in here. Not up in here. Damn. <laughs> I'm assuming that that squad car belongs to one of you. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah, you can tell it's pretty personal <laughs> for him. We gotta get to a wedding. And you guys don't need people talking about how some obnoxious tourists borrowed your squad car last night. I think we can work out a deal discreetly, of course, man. What do you say? So risky, because, like, if they're yeah, just like, no, like, and now trying to extort a cop, get out of here. <laughs> These gentlemen have kindly volunteered to demonstrate how a stun gun is used to subdue a suspect. That's right. Wait a second, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> they had no idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, fuck. you can shoot it from a distance. I, Alan just eats it, just doesn't even doesn't even drop. He's like, that tickles. <laughs> Let's go, handsome. Come on. Not you, fat Jesus. Slide it on back. <laughs> Don't listen to this maniac. Let's think this thing through. Finish him! Anybody want to do some shooting up here? Oh, yes. oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 In the face! In the face! Oh. <laughs> He's holding it. <laughs> oh. All right, everybody relax. Take it easy. Oh. We've seen him before. He just needs a little extra. Oh, oh my. And he's dead. <laughs> they killed him. <laughs> what if something happened to Doug? Something bad? Oh, come on, you can't think like that. I mean, what if he's dead? That's the first sane comment someone's made since this whole thing's gone down. Like, is right. he alive? Like, this has been a long time. Looks good. Not looking. Not looking. Oh! Wow. 
pristine. Dusty, maybe, but all right. Yeah. That's the first positive event that's occurred since since this night. What is this, a snake skin? Oh, oh come no. on. Ew! That's a used condom. Oh, man. God. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, God. Hey, oh, my come God. on. Oh, I'd kill whoever did that if I was driving. Oh, I'd lose it. We got to get this shit together, guys. Dog's in the truck. Oh, truck. Oh, oh, shit. Back at you. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You gonna fuck on me? Nobody's gonna fuck on you. We're on your side. I hate Godzilla. <laughs> 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 Who was that guy? He was so mean. <laughs> I slipped something in our Jägermeister. What? I was told it was ecstasy. That's still a drug. Yeah, he's still. <laughs> I lost the tooth. I married a whore. I'd be How furious. dare you? She's a nice lady. <laughs> Your language is offensive. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would be so angry. I wouldn't be able to contain myself. <laughs> who the hell are you? Oh, who the hell are you? Mike Tyson? <laughs> oh, my life. One more time, guys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Knocked out cold, yo. And that's anybody that if anyone got cold cocked like that. Why the fuck would you want to steal this tiger? We tend to do dumb shit when we're fucked up. <laughs> dumb? I don't even think that's dumb. I, I don't even know what you'd call that. It's beyond dumb. One of you dropped your jacket. Oh. His wallet and his room key is in there. No, well, that's our missing friend. I don't give a fuck. Well <laughs> <laughs> it's a little jarring because it's just it's not. Yeah. It's not his concern, but it's, you know, we're the audience, so we're concerned about it. But he's just like, I don't care. <laughs> you brought it here, you bring it back. Don't make me come back for him. Fuck. I would flee the country. <laughs> I'm not bringing that thing into any vehicle I'm in. There's nothing more fair. I'm sorry, are they planting? Alan should do it. <laughs> Alan took a punch from Mike Tyson. Come on. He don't, you don't have to season it, it's a tiger. Tigers like pepper. Tigers love pepper. They hate cinnamon. <laughs> How does he know these things? Well, it's like so outrageous that it might be true. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> Wait, t -t 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 do you imagine someone's like, oh, oh, is that your luggage in the air? I'd be like, yes. But you don't know for sure? I'd be panicking. This thing's just back there. You don't, what if it wakes up? <laughs> I'm jumping out the car. Crash. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm out. Ooh. And the car's getting effed up. <laughs> Keep it straight. It's like you don't even need to be tearing out the the inside of the car. Like, why are you? <laughs> why well, are you tiger. doing this? <laughs> yeah, but like... don't need it. <laughs> when we got back, we took a look at the security cameras. Great. <laughs> Doug is there. Oh my God, he's alive. That's our buddy. Oh my God, that dog's so cute. <laughs> That's me, I'm no on TV. Shit. I've never been on TV before. <laughs> oh, Alan. Elegant, just regal creature. Check it out, Stu! Stu, fuck this tiger! <laughs> we all do dumb shit when we're fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get it? Shouldn't he be, where's he, what's he doing? What's he doing next? <laughs> 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 what a beautiful touch to just have that part in there. It's just the inside. Come on, I got a guy in LA who's great with interior. Oh, it's now not the outside. The exterior. Both sides. <laughs> oh! That's the guy from the trunk. Looks a lot different now. 
I want my purse back. That's not a purse, it's a satchel! It's a purse! <laughs> Mine had eighty thousand dollars inside. Nothing. Hey, there's Skittles in there. <laughs> <laughs> you have dog? You know some other friend? What? <laughs> dog! 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 I don't know if that would make me feel better or worse. I think worse if we don't have eighty grand. <laughs> Guys, you're the kidnapper! Come on, wait. Oh, no, no, no. That's not how that works. Run me over. Okay. Too, what? Like, <laughs> I respect them. They're trying. Bring money to Big Rock in Mojave Desert. Hey. <laughs> Getting shit tossed like that behind tinted it's windows as they roll it up. It's literally like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Try to count cards, I see. He's all suited up. <laughs> oh, I've seen that meme too. Okay. He's a hidden genius. <laughs> You know that feeling. Oh yeah, it's such a good feeling. Yeah! <laughs> or, or when everyone loses. Nah, the worst is when everyone's winning and you're losing. <laughs> you're like, ah, good job guys, you're winning. Oh fuck you, fuck you! Okay. My gosh. He can't lose, he can't lose! I was gonna say, yeah. Yeah, they're getting the attention. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh my God. Are you okay? I'm such a clutch. Oh, oh. Whoa, hold on a beat. Okay, let's just take it easy. Stalling like crazy. Yeah, genius. Uh. I don't I think you're fine. Let's go. Hey, good to go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now you're good. You're good. Just stand up. Gone like that. I can't believe he was actually like a fucking genius with it, you know? Oh, with all this, that's $82,400! Oh, God damn it! I'm Not gonna lie, it's really bad. It really makes me want to play Blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> it really made me want to go back to the crew's playing Blackjack. Yeah. Give him the money, Stu. Okay. I... <laughs> Ta da! Ah! What, is this some kind of joke? The Doug we're looking for is a white. <laughs> <laughs> hey, white. This is the guy that sold me the bad drugs. How you doing? I didn't sell you no wait, fucking bad. Wait. <laughs> Your name's Doug? Yeah, yes, I'm Doug. Uh, but his name's Doug, too. <laughs> Classic mix-up. Oh, oh, my. Alan that, has... <laughs> Alan's the worst. Yeah, that coincidence is nuts, though. Gosh darn it! Shit! Shoot! I was wondering who the fourth person is because when they opened uh, like this scene, I'm assuming this is like the beginning scene where she's like, "Oh, we lost Doug." Right, and there. I was wondering. People. I'm like, "Who's the fourth dude?" I'm like, "I must have mixed up the bags. My fault, Alan." Damn, I would... Marshall gonna be pissed off at me on that one. <laughs> I'd be like, "You mixed up the bags? What do you mean you mixed them up?" Why not floors, right? Because when you take them, you're more likely to end up on the floor than the roof. Yeah, that's true. I would be pissed off that he's trying to make light. <laughs> I'm like, we just lost 80K, and now we just have you. <laughs> You're more likely to wind up on the floor than... I'm really sorry, Alex. Where's Doug? He is in Pain Valley. Oh, Pain Valley. He is paying the bill. We just had a delicious brunch, and uh, we're in a big hurry to get back, so we gotta get going. He figures something out. You're telling me there's no way. I mean, the mattress is up there. If He's just on the roof. If he's just, uh, I'll be pissed. I'll be like, have you been sleeping for three days? What have you been doing up here? <laughs> like this? Oh my gosh. You can't open windows in Vegas hotels. Well, then how did it get? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. I guess. 
He's on the roof. We must have taken him up there on his mattress as a prank. Remember we moved his uh, sleeping bag out in the jetty in the way? <laughs> Which was hilarious. I hope he's, I hope he's really up there. <laughs> There he is. He's over here! He's probably ready to beat the bur- I would be ready to beat everybody. <laughs> I'd be like, how'd I end up here? <laughs> if they told me it was for a prank? <laughs> he's alive! What the fuck is going on? Oh, gosh. He's- Ugh, he's- I can't imagine that pain. Ugh. I'm getting married today. Yes, you are. Well, all right. He's got some- Conscious right now. Fucking asshole! <laughs> that was like a linebacker hit. That was impressive. Don't touch me! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Just give me up. He can't even shower. That'd be a wild car ride home explaining your adventure. It... Look, you don't have to say it. I totally understand. This whole thing was. Stupid. I can't believe I gave my grandmother's Holocaust ring to someone I just met. What was I thinking? You were really fucked up. Oh, I feel bad for her a little bit. I know, right? Alan bet you that you weren't a good enough dentist to pull out your own tooth. Hell. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and awful at the same time. I happen to find $80,000 worth of Bellagio chips in my pocket. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> The chills. That's so dope. That's crazy. Okay. You're... Yeah, what's up, Alan? Woo! No shot. Alan's got the connect. A tux deal on the road is insane. <laughs> I'd pay that guy extra. Sorry, MapQuest took us on a really crazy look route. Out. They just look disheveled and dirty. <laughs> <They're> sk- <laughs> like. Just stands out amongst the crowd. <laughs> They're like, wow. He, he go get a spray tan? <laughs> Where were you? And why oh. are you so red? Honey, it's a long story. <laughs> Not now. Well, for him, it's not that long. No, it's just like I sat, I was stuck on a roof. <laughs> Can you forgive me? Aww. Now would be the time to forgive before you make this lifelong commitment. Yeah. yeah. What happened to your tooth? Have you met Alan? Tracy's brother. Brother of the... Okay. <laughs> we went to Las Vegas. Oh, really? Las Vegas? Yep. Why would you go to Las Vegas? Because my best friend was getting married, and that's what guys do. Uh-huh. Damn! That is not how this works! Oh, good! Because whatever this is, ain't working for me. Since you fucked that waiter on your cruise last June, boom! Ooh. Ooh. Let's do this! Bye, girl. I'd be like, bye. All right. Thinking about getting my bartender's license. Suck my dick. No, thank you. What a weird direction. <laughs> Think about getting my bartender's license. Like, what was he expecting her to be like, oh, well. <laughs> I just wish we could actually remember some of it. Hey, guys. Look what I found. Whoa, that's my camera. Oh, no. Here we go. We look at these pictures together, okay? One time. And then we delete the evidence. Oh, dear Lord. That's classic. Now we're going to get all the photos. Yo, that's crazy. See, look how happy he is. With there you. he goes, too. Mm. Oh, I love that they did these photos, you know, like to really like give that us. That is a really funny. Of... Yeah. The wedding photos. This is a one. This is one way to 
to convince your girlfriend or fiance to not let you go to Vegas is they watch this. They're going to be like, if this is what people think goes on there, you're not going. There's no way. <laughs> All right. That was our reaction to The Hangover. If you liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies, we will get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. Check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Zay, obviously, since I have had seen this before and you haven't, why don't you take it away? Give us your thoughts and opinions on on the movie. Yeah, that is. Listen, <laughs> I've had my fair share of <laughs> of nights <laughs> where you wake up the next day like, what happened? Mm -hmm. And when you get to when, <laughs> especially when I was at school and going through this process on a very much minor scale compared to this, I didn't kidnap a tiger, <laughs> have a chicken in my hotel room and all that. But like piecing together your night and being like what happened last night and just unraveling like some wild stories is hilarious most of the time. And I think that this movie nailed that exact idea. I'm not saying I'm some big part of you guys, but I've had, I've had nights like that where you're like, you're just like, what happened last night? And you get to go through like, you go through photos and you're like, and then you have someone they're like, Oh, remember we went and got pizza. You're like, Oh, we went and got pizza. Where? And then you're just like piecing together. You're like, Oh my God. So it is, uh, unfortunately we didn't have anything like that little digital camera to document all of it but oh my gosh this movie was absolutely hilarious one the, the cast was like star studded i didn't realize there was gonna be all these people in it. i mean shout out mike epps mike tyson uh i mean it was just like carrot top was in the pictures at the end like it's just a, it was a crazy cast um i did recognize a few memes from it um i definitely didn't remember the premise or know the premise of this at all i thought that uh i thought that from when you're watching like or from what i've ever seen because you always see alan Stu, and phil together i never knew there was like some wedding i thought that, i thought it was just like three dudes were partying or like they had like a crazy night and then that's and so i can only imagine what the next two installments are like because mm -hmm. this was insane it was absolutely hilarious i see why it's your dad's favorite comedy i see why it's in the top of yours is definitely good in the top of mine um so many cool mo uh, moments casting was done perfectly uh, i mean zach alfanakis says alan was probably my favorite character he was absolutely perfect for the role he played the role absolutely perfectly and um the chemistry just it, overall between uh phil Stu, and alan was in even doug was um just mo mostly those three though was was immaculate like they just played off each other really well the and you kind of you, we kind of said a couple times you said it initially you know it gives you the vibe like just you and the boys like that's what it felt like it, the whole movie and i was as i'm watching I'm like oh my gosh i remember this time where it was like me you and this person i'm like oh dude this was him in this situation or like oh i remember a time where i was at school and there was me me and this person and oh yeah they were they would have been this person so it's just it's it was really cool because the story was super outlandish but yet still you're able to relate it to real life experiences and stuff like that um in a loose sense being like oh my God, like from the vibe and everything and um i just i can't believe i hadn't seen this movie sooner oh my gosh that's that movie it's unbelievable unbelievable yeah it's they did a really really good job at um at both having these outrageous situations and outrageous moments but still being grounded in this like really intense level of like relatability like we've all yeah. had a night where it's like oh geez like what exactly did we do and we've all had like those you know moments with the boys where it's like oh shit like oh we got to make it to this or oh we messed up yeah. or like oh we got to do this and um you know trying to piece things together and stuff like that so they, they really do a good job at like really making you kind of like you said call back to moments of your life where you're like oh if i feel like i've had a time like this or or even if you haven't had like a time like this you've been you know everyone's been in some kind of wild situation like even if you go outside and you see a pig walking by um it's not as crazy as seeing a tiger in your bathroom but like <laughs> yeah. people have mo like they do a good job at capturing that like like whoa this is happening right now like everybody's had an experience where they've just been like whoa like what i can't believe this happened um so they they do uh, like a really good job at blending the um the out the 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 just the extremes with with relatability and they make mm -hmm. do a good job at like really making you feel like you're in this mystery with them what happened to doug like where where did he go what's going on with the with the tiger i think that's a really brilliant choice because 
they had two options here. They said, well, we could have showed them the night and then they have the hangover and figure everything else out. Or right. we could just cut straight to the day and have the whole audience in the mystery as well, figuring yeah. this out with the characters. And they, I think that that was a really beautiful choice. The pacing was phenomenal. Even after have seen this movie multiple times, I still, we get to the end. I'm like, oh, it's over. Um, it, it just flowed by really quickly. I, I wish the movie was longer, actually. It would have been interesting to see even more hijinks and mishaps mm -hmm. uh, go down. And, you know, they, they had a good job at, like, having uh, Leslie Chow as this, like, antagonist that kind of comes out of nowhere <laughs> yes. that they have to deal with. They really make the threat start to feel really high. Um, they show that the actions have consequences, stealing the police car and, mm -hmm. and things like that, um, stealing the tiger. So uh, I think they did a really good job at connecting all these different elements of the story. And even though it was crazy, it never made you think, for the most part, like, yeah, but how they, how did this happen and nobody did anything about it? Like, there right. were, you know, there were consequences. There was a baby. The baby belonged to the woman. There was a marriage. It, it, it you know, Stu eventually wanted to see her again. And, you know, he, they had a whole great character arc with Stu in that whole situation. But the movie does a really good job of tying everything together. And, and, and on top of all of that, it's absolutely funny. I mean, the Ooh, Alan, funny. the character of Alan has got to be one of the, most like the best funniest characters ever brought to screen i could watch hours and hours of just alan doing stuff or, or alan being yeah. with the group because like you said their chemistry is like everything the faces that bradley cooper and Stu give and doug and everything oh, and dude. even though doug isn't in a lot of the movie he does a good job at playing that role of like, this is the guy that's getting married and, and he fits in with the group still. I mean, we watched this whole movie relatively without him. And even when he mm -hmm. does come back in the picture, he fits in nicely. It doesn't even feel like, you know, he, he, you know, who, like, who was this guy come to the rest of the adventure? Um, yeah. Hilarious, hilarious moments throughout, uh, uh really 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 fun adventure to go through and uh yeah i i enjoyed this experience again as i always have it's a timeless classic in, in my head yeah definitely doug did doug like you said even though he wasn't in the movie a lot he was perfect he fit in perfectly when he was in the movie and he served as a perfect catalyst for us to get this relationship between the three you know between phil Stu, and alan so um super so i mean that's obviously that's very well done writing and you know being formulating an idea and being able to execute it very well because a character like alan that is this like awkward kind of sort like six like a sore thumb character kind of goes one or two ways they're either like really really funny and it works really well or it can be like really like cringy and, like ugh, like all right this got like kind of annoying like to have him. obviously in this case our opinions executed extremely well um so yeah i had an absolute blast man all right well with that being said uh let's get into the rating just so you guys know we go from zero to ten we never give out zeros we never give out tens why well because by giving out a zero you're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie by giving out a ten you're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie both those things are impossible to say that is our subjective opinion uh five is average six is good seven is great eight is beyond that nine is top tier cinema uh, we do give out decimal points like 9.999 and so on, if we so please. Uh, Zay, what do you rate this? I mean, geez, for a comedy, especially um, as well done as this, uh, I would probably put this at like a 9.25 for me. I mean, this is easily one of the funniest movies I've watched in not only recent history, just I think in general. Um, it was just that it's crazy because it makes me look back um, – at just like this time period was where we were just getting, I feel like comedies like this were being pumped out, but I feel like they were all, I mean, a haunt, haunted house was another one that kind of came out around this time that you and I watched. It probably it came out probably a little bit after this, but you and I watched, we thought that movie was absolutely hilarious. And I just feel like this is like, I don't know what it was. I, it's not like it's a, a specific style comedy, but just like the comedies that were coming out in this time, I felt like were so, so good. And I, I love this one. I mean, it was just absolutely stellar. Like, like we kind of already went over. Uh, casting was great. Um, I think the writing was great. Everything had a consequence, which could have been, yeah, could have got 
kind of weird if like there was things that had holes in it like well they never tackled this everything really did pretty much come full circle everything got addressed as far as i can really remember um even the smallest things so i mean again kudos to the writing um obviously there's some very cool shots of vegas from the rooftop and everything and uh yeah man i mean just overall just an absolute blast yeah I think I'm going to have to give it uh, a 9.5. I might be biased just because. Hey, you've you know, seen I've, it a couple of times too. Though, that's, so. Right. So I've seen it a couple of times. And I, I think that one of the strongest aspects is it's rewatchability. I mean, I, 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 I could literally sit and, and watch it again right now. Like, it's just yeah. so funny. Um, and the jokes don't die they don't die yeah. they, they 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 live on for such a long time and a lot of the jokes from this movie are kind of like you won't see again i don't know if there'll ever be a time where jokes like this can come back to the movie uh yeah. industry but it, a lot of it is like cancel culture level of jokes at this point um so uh but they they utilized it very very well i thought that it, right. it fit in with the tone of everything and just like the boys saying their things and nothing was meant to be taken in any kind of horrible way or anything like that um but uh it, it, it they did a really great job at the the plot like you said i mean it re they really could have just had a couple guys go to vegas figure out what happened but they yeah. had this whole wedding really up the stakes of everything there was a time limit um there were there was a uh the the consequences were so much higher and you know they did a really good job at making you feel like oh shit like we got to find doug like as soon as possible yeah. uh they managed to pull a lot of things off that i don't know if you can pull off correctly um and they managed to do it in a funny way. If and if, if you do it just in slightly the wrong way, it could be really bad. Like hitting a baby's head by with a car door is brutal. Right. But yeah, they, they it just fit with the style of the movie and with in and, and with these bumbling idiots, as you could say, that it kind of added because the baby was okay. So it, it you know it added a little level like hilarity to it. Um yeah, I, I think that this movie, you know, it, a lot of other kind of comedy sometimes even like a haunted house they take the spoof aspect um mm -hmm, and yeah we talk about how sometimes they sacrifice the plot a little bit this movie did a really good job at having like a really strong plot like you know, they mm -hmm. got to get everything back for the wedding and 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 it's a mystery but they managed to make all these jokes extremely relevant and extremely connected to the plot even the naked man jumping out the trunk doing his crazy thing had a huge connection with the plot. It wasn't yeah. like this. It wasn't just like outrageous for outrageous sakes. Like it all, right, right, right. it all had a purpose, which I thought was really well done and really blended. And it's hard to kind of come across comedies like that nowadays that aren't, uh, that aren't, that don't feel like wonky or anything. So this was an interesting era of comedy movies. Uh, you know, Step Brothers came out around this time yep. and, and, uh, things like that. And, um, you know, it'd be nice to get some kind of comedies like this to come back at some point. Uh, yeah, I will sure. say the next two movies, in my opinion, aren't as good, but they are like if you enjoyed this one, you'll enjoy those. Um, okay. they chemistry, they keep the you know wacky situations stuff like that. Uh, but this one is 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 the classic, and I and I really. Really had a fun time showing you this. So I'm going to put it at a 9.5. I would say if I had some issues, I think it would be like, you know, there were like a few jokes. I was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah. that kind of, it kind of felt like at some points they, they threw in more than they needed to. Like, and mm. some of them were subtle and good and others were just like, yeah, we'll just throw this one in there, which is fine. It didn't take away too much, but um, right. it was also like me. Okay. Uh, but you know, I I also think, like I said, I wish it was longer. I, I think it could have used a little bit more runtime. Still, a, still a very fun time. Really, really enjoyed it. Any uh, yeah. any final thoughts? No, just um, one last thing too is just like a very, very well done blend of different comedic styles, not just slapstick. They were slapstick in there, like there was you know your typical run of the mill type of comedy. They just, they just again very very well done film. I do agree with you. I think it could have been longer because I think there's some of the photos. Like I wish we could have gotten like some flashbacks of them like in the in the actual penthouse and like some crazy stuff. But I think there's also 
a charm to it just getting to see the photos and be like oh i can only imagine what like you know was uh developing there so absolutely stellar film yeah all right well uh thank you guys again for being here thank you for the support zay i know you have a twitch yes guys my twitch will be linked down in the description below come tune in come stop by and come say hi um, I have Cam on there. I've been having him on there a little more frequently, actually, recently. We've been getting into some more head-to-head -head games. Uh, I've been trying to have more of my friends on there so we can uh, just get into a whole bunch of different genres of games and everything. I've been doing a lot of playthroughs as well. So it's always a fun time. I love to play through games and kind of talk about them after how I how I view them, kind of like how we do on here. I'm done with a few games now where I kind of go back and give my opinion on it. So if you're interested in that, feel free to stop in. The link will be down in the description below. Yep, check it out. It's a great time. You can see me whoop his ass in all kinds of games. Speedrunners, mm. Battleship, you never mm. know what, what's out there. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no. uh, but listen, guys, if you're going to Vegas, uh, don't buy drugs from some dude outside of the outside of a pharmaceutical <laughs> store or whatever. And also, uh, don't drug your drinks because you never know what's in those Don't things. drug your friend's drinks. Yeah, yeah, don't drug your friend's drinks either. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. And peace.